क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन सीमा फोर इज सीमा फोर इज एन टू सॉल्व क्रिटिकल सेक्शन प्रॉब्लम ऑप्शन ए हार्डवेयर फॉर अ सिस्टम तो सीमा फोर नॉट अ हार्डवेयर फॉर अ सिस्टम स्पेशल प्रोग्राम नो इंटीजर वैल्यू यस गाइस ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर सीमा फोर इज एन इंटीजर वैल्यू टू सॉल्व क्रिटिकल सेक्शन प्रॉब्लम सो ऑप्शन सी इज द मोस्ट करेक्ट आंसर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ द सीमा फोर वैल्यू इज नेगेटिव इट सिंपली मीन्स दैट दैट मच प्रोसेस आर ऑन वेटिंग so its magnitude is the number of processes waiting on that sima for so option a is again the correct answer the next one is what are spin locks so basically spin locks are used under sima for to make a waiting bounding limit means waiting should be on a particular that uh, this much waiting should be there after that your process will executed so for that for bounding limitation in the waiting we we use spin locks so option a CPU cycle wasting locks over critical section of a program. Yes, it is one of the functionality of spin locks. Locks that avoid time wastage in the context switches. It is also the use of spin locks, and locks that works better on multi-processor system. It is also one of the functionality of spin locks. So the most accurate one is option D. That is all of the mentioned. The next question is the weight operation of the SIMA four basically works on basic block system car. If weight operation is there, then we need to work it on block system call. Option B is the correct answer. And see if the signal operation of the SIMA four basically works on the basic wake up system call. If signal operation is there, it will be work on wake up signal call. But if waiting operation is there, then wait will work on block system call, whereas signal is works on wake up system call. The next one is. the code that changes the value of the sima 4 is critical section code critical section code changes the value of sima 4 the next question is what will happen if non recursive mutex is logged more than once so if non recursive mutex will log more than once it will cause deadlock because it will not allow other processes to execute and uh, it will basically block the complete scenario so deadlock would be there the next one is what are the two kinds of semaphores binary semaphores counting semaphores option b is the correct answer at a particular time of computation the value of counting semaphore is 7 okay so currently the counting semaphore have a value 7 if 20 p operations p means p will lead to wait and 15 v operations are there we will wake up the call okay so it is a signal call it is a signal call and p is waiting call so basically wait will decrease the value minus uh, with one at a at time at a time and uh, signal will increase the value by one at a time so 20 p operations are there so 7 minus 20 is there and 15 v means 15 signal operations are there so plus 15 would be there so this will lead to value 2 so the final value of the sima for resultant value of the sima for would be plus 2 it is a gate computer science question important one the next one is spin locks are intended to provide it is intended to provide bounded waiting so that other processes can also execute on a particular time So option B is the correct answer. So guys, please subscribe our YouTube channel for more such MCQ session. And we have already uploaded all the important MCQ session of DSA and algorithm. So guys, do watch them, and that will sh surely help you in getting extra marks in your upcoming exams. Have a very very nice day, guys. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.